are letting our science stagnate while other countries are going to be eating our lunch in the future because we're going the other direction, cutting back. And realize that science is our seed corn. We are literally eating our seed corn when we cut back on the science budget. Science is the engine of prosperity. Everything you see around us, everything we see around us, the prosperity we see comes from science. But that means that it's up for grabs. Anyone could create the next transistor. Anyone could create the next laser. We just have to make sure that the next generation of inventions don't all come from China and India and leave us in the dust. Just remember that this has happened before. England ruled the waves, and England was a dominant scientific power in the 1800s. Who were the great scientists of the 1800s? Uh, Michael Faraday, James Maxwell, all British scientists. And then in the 1900s, all the great scientists were German. Max Planck, Einstein, Heisenberg, all German. Because England fell back on its laurels while Germany developed the rocket. Germany split the atom. Germany developed a gigantic jet, jet aircraft. And that led to World War II. So we see that empires do decline. And the first sign of a decline of empire is the lack of interest in science. And unfortunately, that's what's happening in the United States. And so many people say that, well, America's in decline, but they don't say why. <laughs> why is it in decline? In part, it's because we're not generating the new science that created the laser, the transistor, the GPS, the space program. We're not funding those programs, and no surprise, we're not getting the dividends.